Hi, Ilkay. Hi, community. Servus. Did you watch the uh, Wiener Open Ball yesterday? <laughs> Actually, I was I was traveling by plane during that time, but uh, I followed for sure all the the media reports. Yes, <laughs> have you been there, Ilka? I ha I have never been to the Wiener Open Ball. I I wish could be there as a debutant. They say, yeah, deb debutant, the first time. Maybe you have a salon or lunch there, and then you can invite me. Maybe we should talk to to Richard Lugner. <laughs> Maybe you know him. <laughs> I I really love that that culture. I met Alexander uh, the first time, I think it was also in Augsburg, uh, Jack Forum Augsburg. Augsburg, uh, Stade or Salzburg, I don't remember clearly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we, we are uh, omnipresent uh, at, at, on LinkedIn anyway. So Alexander, tell me about your background. How did you come to Composites? Basically, a short wrap up. Yes, uh, it was like uh, by my educational career already. So I started... Uh, uh, actually in the mechanical and polymer engineering. I do have an engineering degree there in composites and plastics, but also mechanical engineering. And after that, I was working for nine years in the aviation industry at the tier one system supplier in different roles in program management, business development. So I've been traveling a lot and have been a lot in contact with major OEMs in the aerospace industry, tier ones, tier two suppliers. And everywhere I have been on the globe, I found a Langzahner press and they made me curious and I decided to, to visit Langzahner. So it was like the step from a producer of components uh, to the producer of the equipment, uh, highly efficient equipment. And uh, on my first visit at Langzahner, I was caught up by the innovation and pioneering spirit of a relatively young team uh, with the passion to create the perfect solution and being flexible. As I saw, there are specific needs for each product. So finally, it came that I, I'm now working since more than seven years at Langzahner, uh, coming from the composites to the mechanical engineering. Um, and I'm responsible for global sales and marketing globally. And we now deliver a wide field of, of areas, uh, aerospace, automotive, sports, wind energy. So all the areas composites are required and necessary. Yes, Langzauner. I'm impressed with Langzauner's press that I saw at the CTC in Stade. Yes, yes, that that was a that is a 1,500 tons press, and I and I asked myself, I wondered why the hell would a composite industry need 1,500 tons? But then again, they are pressing large items like 1,800 by 1,500 millimeters, so you need this force because it's a large surface that is uh, that has to be pressed. But let's go go a step back into the press technology because that's also something that I'm wondering. Why is the classic press technology also a good way to improve production processes in composite manufacturing? Because I understand that you have presses also for the wood industry. Can you explain us what are the similarities and what are the differences between compressing wood and uh, pressing composites? B basically, uh if we would be a kind of ecologic in, in this matter, we could say a wood and a composite is uh, pretty much uh, from the physics, it could be considered as a similar setup, right? So wood is like fibers with lignin. And what we do in the composites is, uh, let's say, to combine some different uh, properties with some, some different, um, actually, uh, with some, some different resins and, and to achieve the best uh, properties for the part required. So we do presses since uh, more than 90 years for the wood industry. And later on, it was the first step coming to a sandwich construction. And it was in the 1960s already when we built the first ski presses. And we see a ski uh, on this side, actually, uh, which is a very typical uh, part uh, existing for a very long time. But uh, this technology came later also to the aerospace industry for the interiors, for example. Um, and especially uh, in the press technology, there was a boost of innovation over the last 15 to 20 years uh, when it comes to composites. Today's systems are smart, flexible, highly precise, and they can be used as a multi-process capable equipment 
which means that the investment, uh, it's like a future-proof investment and highly resistant to any upcoming change of requirements. But one of the key elements is to save energy and make a system very efficient. And with our servo hydraulic, we are in these days able to save up to 75% of energy consumption costs compared to conventional systems. And by the way, output is a big question. With a press, you're able to produce a very high output rate um, while having short cycle times. And this means that we are also able, as you mentioned, to scale up enormously in terms of size, but also to combine different process steps. That means a one-shot cycle uh, together with an injection unit and, and to functionalize organo sheets. Such things are possible there. And I think uh, the market is really asking for such solutions. I don't know whether you have been already at the, at the company Langzaun at that time, but when did you realize that uh, wood, I, I believe that was the first product, wood presses, can be applied into composites? What was suddenly clear to you guys? Uh, I think it, it's, yeah, it, it happened already at the early stage because it was the property that was the driver to achieve some and control properties um, uh, and, and improve that for the product. So simply the reason why when we realized that our technology is a crucial one is like all the discussion about transformation, uh, saving weight to reduce the, the fuel consumption. Uh, that's one of the drivers. It was in, in the very early 90s in the aerospace already. So the entire interior is produced on, on lung tunnel presses globally uh, at every OEM. So there is a clear vision in these days and paths are given to a sustainable uh, uh, environment uh, to reduce the carbon footprint and, and that leads to uh, alternative and new powertrain technologies, circular economy projects and so on. And this transformation is ongoing and what we see is that partners are needed to support that process with innovative equipments but also with a, a high grade of flexibility. So that means we customize and tailor-made solutions uh, either on an R&D scale or on a serial production scale. So we talk about a one ton pressing force up to 10,000 ton pressing force, depending on the size. And this is what we have proven many times in the last couple of years. And so finally, for us, it's uh, not the end with discussing a, a press. It's getting even more exciting when we come to upstreaming and downstream processes like the automation around. So our solution is, let's say, a full, full package to the customer for being more efficient and produce. Uh, high high volume uh, composite parts as well. Ten thousand. There is physically no limit. It's just to give you an example. There is a project uh, uh, that we have just won. We can discuss in a couple of weeks, I guess, during the check. It's a ten point five by three point five meter plate in size um, to produce uh, big parts for the aircraft industry. Yeah, that that explodes my imagination. So I, I'm keen to to know more about that. So now is that uh, pretty clear to me? So the composites have been a um, logistical, a logical step towards uh, this. Now the the other value that you have mentioned is uh, the complete uh, automation systems. And we had one uh, viewer that was talking about automation. So we are not talking about email automation or digital automation. We are talking about manufacturing automation here. Um, tell us about what, what uh, extraordinary value does that create? So basically, in a sentence, in a nutshell, Langzauner is a one-stop shop. That means um, for our clients, it's turnkey, trouble-free. We sometimes say, uh, once a Langzauner, always a Langzauner. This is the attitude, uh, the philosophy that uh, drives us also in the, in the after sales and service business. But so we are a partner from the very beginning, from R&D and concept studies to cycle time evaluation, simulation, to customize and build the press to the needs of the process of the building environment and to integrate various components and equipment such as injection molding units, furnaces, robots, resin injection units. Uh, there is nearly no limit. So. When it comes then to the logistics and transports, uh, we take care about the global uh, uh, shipment. We do the commissioning installation, the training handover, and the production support. So it's really a turnkey solution for our suppliers. And uh, 
based on the specific needs where we are able to react. So your booth at Jack is uh, 5P Paula 58 as far as I'm Exactly. Yeah, uh, if I'm not wrong, yeah, I got that from the official list. That is a That's there's cool. a PDF. You can download the PDF or you can go into the interactive map. T tell us, Alexander, wh what's going on at Jack? Uh, are there any specific news or is it as usual? No, as usual, it's, it's nothing this year. I think there is a, a big anniversary. Langzana is, is uh, celebrating its 100th year anniversary. That means uh, 1924. Uh, basically, it was our uh, year of birth. And so for sure, we invite all the community to step by, swing by at our booth uh, and, and visit us. Uh, let's have some nice discussions, some, some food, some uh, fun, as I've heard already today. And uh, there's one message I can give. So pressure is our daily business. So I think uh, give us a chance to impress you. And uh, if you're not at the check, uh, just leave me a message at LinkedIn or contact me through our website give me a call and uh, let's discuss yes alexander is very much active on linkedin so you can reach him on linkedin anytime and pressure is your business i like <laughs> i like that claim <laughs> everyone is pressurizing themselves and you are pressurizing composites so alexander uh, what's your call to action what should the people do after this uh, linkedin live the first thing they should do I think uh, best would be to, to contact me on LinkedIn, uh, provide a slot in your schedule to visit us at the check and visit our website. I think that's the three tasks and uh, I'm available all the time, would be happy to discuss and talk with you. We have the perfect solution for you to enhance your production and increase the capability efficiency. And uh, I'm keen on discussing. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. So I will be meeting Alexander at his booth 5P58 and I will make a uh, video interview with him. So stay tuned. After the Jack show, you will get a detailed, uh, detailed video about what's going on, the hundreds of years of uh, Langzauner and all these presses that are really fascinating. Alexander, thanks for being part of my show. And now we are moving on to Alan Harper. Thank you. Thank you so much.